Yeah, I've loved it. Yeah, um, it's been very enjoyable. Uh, just two days, so we've, we, there's been you know a lot to take in and a lot to learn. But uh, I've loved every minute, and uh, hopefully uh, there'll be more of these to come to. Yeah, it was pretty tough. Uh, to be fair, uh, you know, especially the endurance test, the, the up down stuff. It, you know, it's a good test, but. Um, all the lads, you know, stuck in there and did well, so it was good. Um, and then obviously we had other testing with speed and just just to get a benchmark really of where we're all at. And you know, it was it was good to do and got some good feedback from it. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, yeah, it's been a bit of an eye opener. It's been it's been really good. Um, I've enjoyed the, the first few days we've had together, and it's been good to meet all the, the guys and, and sort of try and set myself in the squad. I've yeah, I've really enjoyed the two days and. Nice little you know, taster, and for hopefully what thing, you know, things to come. Any fitness test hard, um, you know, but obviously you're running against you know, you know some of the fittest guys in the country, so it was pretty tough. Um, you know, trying to trying to you know keep up with those boys and stuff, and you know push it, but it went all right. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but um, you yeah, got through it. And that, once that was out of the way, it, it made a, you know it could feel everyone was weight off their shoulders once that was out of the way. So. I mean, for me personally, you know, it's been quite, um, been quite tough being sort of dropped in and trying to pick up all these, all these new calls. But you know, it's pretty, pretty simple and pretty basic from you know what I, what I gathered really, and you know, establishing those principles. You know, you know, hopefully we can then sort of move on and, and build from that. Um, but like I said, it's been, it's been pretty good, and you know, hopefully I can just pick it up and uh, as quickly as possible. When Stuart first told me, I was, you know, I couldn't believe it really. So, you know, I feel massively privileged to be in the position I'm in, and I just want to uh, try and stay here now and, and play well from a club at, at Leicester, and hopefully push on to uh, to push the, you know, the other people in our position, um, you know, in the coming season. Yeah, I mean, I'm chuffed. It was a massive, uh, a massive shock, to be honest. Um, you know, I was, I was really, really disappointed to miss that under 20s tour in in, in the uh, in the summer, um, but. Yeah, and I wasn't. I genuinely wasn't expecting any form of sort of call up at all. So I was, yeah, really excited. And you know, now I'm here. Like I said, it's nice to get a taste of the squads, and hopefully, you know, you know, next step would be to try and break into a, you know that, that Saxon squad and hopefully, hopefully play at some point. So it's really exciting. Yeah. There's that many young lads, that, you know, in the, in the squads that I've played with most of them at 18s or 20s and stuff, and then you've obviously got that with with all the Leicester boys um, from the club, so it, it wasn't like I was coming into a place where I didn't know anyone, so the, a lot of the lads have, um, you know, helped me settle in and, and find my feet, really. I mean, the 20s year, especially uh, the World Cup we went to in Italy, was was massive uh, for us all in terms of playing um, high-pressure games in such a short space of time and preparing and reviewing games and looking after your body and training and, and Trying to, you know, get through a tournament which is against tough teams, and we had a, a tough group um, with finishing with obviously the New Zealand in the final, which we've we've never beat, which we was very close to doing. But um, I think obviously the two sort of environments of 20s and, and sort of being A's is the same uh, in terms of you know what you do off the field and and the training's obviously a step up here because you know that's the way it works from 20s to Saxons and EPS squad, but. Um, no, it's massively beneficial. Yeah, it's been it's been really good having that sort of almost uh, you know your, your close friends that you've you know you spent the last couple of years with. I don't feel like I've you know almost you know got to I don't have to meet everyone straight away. You know those guys have you know welcomed me, you know said hello and stuff, and it's been good. So we've had like a little group which we can you know relax with and stuff like that. And, and like I said, all the other guys have been really good and really helpful, trying to you know help me learn you know calls and stuff like that. But the twenties is a is a great platform just just not not just for the rugby but it's like establishing those principles that you talked about the attacking principles and the defensive principles and you know that that rugby you know that England rugby sort of ethos that we try and try and create in the squad you know and I think that's you know as much as playing for the 20s is a you know but it sets that it sets a tone for you know for hopefully that next step when you make it um, you know I find you know those last two years have been you know invaluable really for me and like you say you know it's been you know Playing that, that rugby at 20s has helped me as well at the club. You know, hopefully, you know, I had a reasonable season last year. And like you said, playing in the Premiership and stuff, that, you know, and the Championships, you know, helped me, you know, I think progress, you know, quite quickly. So it's good. 
Um, I'm just focusing on uh, trying to get into the Leicester team at the minute. Obviously, um, we've got a few pre-season pre -season games coming up in the next couple of weeks, so get a few games under my belt, um, hopefully. And then, you know, pushing, obviously, Floody, who's probably first choice tenant, probably here and, and at Leicester to, uh, to see if I can try and break into the back in the team and play games on a regular basis. It's going to take a hell of a lot to, to sort of displace, but he's a, he's a great player and he's fantastic for me off the field as well. He's been brilliant this week, you know, these last couple of days. He's sort of took me under his wing a little bit. Uh, and he, he does the same at the club, so, um, you know, if I'm pushing him to, to play at his best and that's the best thing for the club, then, you know, that's all I can do, really. You know, I want to cement a, a place in the, in the Worcester Team, you know, starting. You know, we've got a, we've got a lot of competition there at, at back row. Obviously, you've, you know, Jay Cabot, Sam Betty. You know, I can list a I can list a load more. You know, but so trying to have, trying to get a starting spot would be great. Um, and then you know, build from that, and then hopefully, like you say, you know, I, I suppose it's quite a way away. But you know, it's, you know, half an eye on that. Um, you know, trying to get in the Saxon squad and, and playing for them. So. Amazing.